Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited to share this video and look with you guys because I was actually sitting in my humanities class this morning and what happened was that this like pink, orange, and gold I look came about in my mind and so I wrote it down and I was like okay when I go back home I'm gonna film this look for you guys and so I did and I love the way it turned out so I'm really happy to share this with you guys so without further ado if you guys want to see and learn how to achieve this look then please stay tuned and keep watching and yeah so let's just jump right into it. okay so I already did one eye off camera and to just jump into it what you want to do is take the shade Ralgar onto a blending brush and then just blend that into the crease So after you have blended the shade Rogar into your crease, you want to go on to another blending brush and then take the shade um, Love Letter. By the way, I'm using the Modern Renaissance palette, of course. What I'm doing right now is taking the shade Love Letter and then just applying it. Well, I applied it to my crease as like another transition color. However, I'm just dragging it down onto the inner and outer corner to and leaving a space in the middle for the glitter. <clears throat> so we can create a halo eye. Okay, so now onto a flat shader brush. You just want to spray that with a little bit of setting spray, whatever you have, just to wet it. And then taking the shade Primavera, which is like a gold metallic um, shade, you want to apply that to the center of your lid. And then going back into the shade Love Letter, you want to just blend everything out so there's no harsh lines. And then I'm just adding a little bit more of that glitter after you blended everything out. Just so since you did blend everything out, it kind of takes away from the glitter. So I'm just emphasizing it more. <laughs> So I deleted my first clip, like my intro clip to this, and I just wanted to let you guys know that as usual, I already primed my face, I did my eyebrows off camera, all that good stuff. So anyways, today I'm just going into the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation, um, the Pro Matte Foundation in the color or shade number 105, and then I'm mixing that with the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-on-1 Foundation um, in the color... 07. This is like a really really dark color and I know this oxidizes so that's why I'm mixing it with this one They're both matte foundations by the way. I love these and both together combined they They're both drugstore. They're cheap and for one when you both combine these two They give you such full coverage like you'll see just watch and then I'm just gonna apply that onto my face with a damp beauty blender So now on to concealer, of course. I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shades Light and Medium. applied your concealer you want to go in with your air serum powder in the shade translucent or whatever setting powder that you have i'm gonna go light with the powder today only because of the fact that since it's a spring look i want it to be more dewy even though i have super super oily skin so 
yeah i'm just gonna apply a small amount and not overdo it like i always do because i don't want it to really like mattify everything i just wanted to set so i'm just gonna brush it away right now instead of letting it sit there so instead of going in with the remiel stain matte powder i can't find it i'm just gonna take a little bit more of that airspun powder onto this fluffy brush and then just quickly set my entire face with all of this Since that's done, we're going to move on to contouring and I'm just taking a wet n wild contouring brush and then into the wet n wild contouring palette as usual and then just chiseling out my cheeks and then applying this into all my hollow areas on my face. Once that's done, you want to move on to bronzing and with just this flat top brush from Wet n Wild as well, I'm going into my Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade Soleil. I believe that's how you say that. I have no idea. But yeah, I'm just applying this bronzer everywhere I applied where my contouring was. And then into blush, I'm taking my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Party. I'm just taking the leftover powder that was on the beauty sponge that I used to apply underneath my eye and everywhere I... I did my concealer on to like the bottom area of where I did my bronzer, contour, and blush just to clean it up. Well, after you're done with that, you just want to go back into the eyes and then right now I'm just going to focus on the lower lash line. But I'm taking the shade Love Letter once again and then just applying that first onto the lower lash line and then I want to connect it to where the eyeshadow meets. I'm going back into the shade Rogue God. Going back into that gold shade, you want to just take it into the inner corner and then kind of drag it along there. Actually, what I'm going to do for the inner corner is take the Stila Magnificent Metal Liquid Eyeshadow and this is the shade Rose Gold and then I'm going to apply that onto the inner corner. For your waterline, I'm taking this ColourPop eyeliner and it's a gold one. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of it, but it's like a gold eyeliner from ColourPop. Just know it's from ColourPop. And then I'm just popping that into the waterline. And then with my handy dandy Clinique mascara, I'm just going to coat my upper and bottom lashes. And mind you, you don't have to take your time on this or, well, take your time, but don't think that you have to like sit here and apply coat after coat because if you want, this is based on your preference, you can apply false lashes. If not, then take your time on it and apply as many coats as you want just to get some voluminous lashes.
Okay, so what I did was pop on some falsies and then just lined the lash line with some black eyeliner just so it's not seen. Um, but anywho, is just take any flat shader brush and then just apply that shade Primavera, the same shade that you apply to the center of your eye, inner corner, da da da, onto your brow bone just for the brow bone highlight. once that's done what you want to do is take your Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit as always and then just take the these three shades I believe this one is sunburst dripping in gold and bubbly or bubbly and dripping in gold and then just apply that to your face you want to take your Mario Badescu rose water spray and then spritz that all over your face <laughs> to go back into your rose water spray and then spritz the rest of your face just to set all your makeup so now on to lips and i'm just gonna go in straight with this with the kylie jenner liquid lipstick in the shade dirty peach <laughs> This shade is way too peachy for me, so I'm just going to tone that down with my Lumiere 2. And then because this is like a glowy, like springtime look, I'm just going to go over it with a gloss. And the gloss that I'm going over with is the Too Faced Melted Chocolate lip gloss in chocolate milkshake and it looks like this all right guys so that completes this look i hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as i did filming um but yeah so Please stay tuned for the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys have any suggestions, just please leave it down in my comments. And I'll be sure to get all the looks that you guys um, suggest to me up as soon as possible. But yeah, see you guys in my next video.